Hello everyone, this is Retro Action, welcome back to another Star Wars Micro Machines video. Continuing on with the three packs, this is the Endor Forest Battle. Of course, last time we covered Star Wars Rebels, that was in the Imperial Era. And now, of course, we're seeing the end of the Empire, as this is from Return of the Jedi, the Battle of Endor. This is from the Battle of Endor, of course, the battle that ends the Return of the Jedi, and causes the fall of the Empire. So, of course... Uh, from left to right, we've got the ATSD, we've got the Imperial speeder bike, and we have the Rebel speeder bike. Right, so let's start with the ATSD. Now, I don't have a playset for these ones, but I do have some old glue micro machines of these to compare them to, all except from the ATSD. So, here's the ATSD. This is probably the most uh, interesting one of the bunch because there is actually a bit of movement. The head does move on this one, and that's the only movement you're going to get with these these three as you can see there's loads of good detail though all around the sides of the legs and everything loads of molding detail it's all been molded on it hasn't been painted but it does it does really look it does look really good again you've got the you've got the laser cannons there you've got the, the hatch to get to the cockpit you've got the leg like pistons and everything like that it's really good you've got some posts on the feet so you can peg it to a stand or you know, Back it to one of the play sets. I don't have an indoor play set to use these on, but as you can see, there's loads of good detail there. And again, the head does move. They have some nice, they've painted the, the the neck of the neck bit, neck assembly a bit differently. That's a bit that's a darker grey to the rest of it. But overall, it's really cool. I like the got like some textured textured detail as well, like riveting, yeah, riveting or something like that. There's, there you have it. That's Jade Chesty. Looks really good. Again, you can turn, you can pose it. That's a hard time standing up, but sometimes you can, you can get it to stand up, other times you can't. But this one seems to be doing quite a good job. So that's that one. Put it over there. Now we've got the Imperial Speeder Bike with a Biker Scout or Scout Trooper on the Speeder Bike there. He's holding on for dear life. He's in pursuit of the Rebels. Looks pretty cool. Again, it's nice detail and everything. It's got like this gunmetal colour for most of the bike with the brown at you know, the front and the back. Well, you know, brown around the gunmetal. You can see at the bottom it's all gunmetal and everything. You've got the laser can at the bottom there. You've got the engine, you know, everything like that. Looks pretty good. You've got the figure nicely moulded onto there, nicely painted as well. And you can see, you can see his helmet on the lines, and you can see the visor on his helmet over here, and his screaming mouth piece. Yeah, it's a great looking micro machine. Yeah, they're definitely nicely painted on the, the details for the scout trooper there. Looks really good, all biker scout. And then again, you've got like the air brakes at the back. There it is. Little brake flaps, whatever they're called. And here's the Galoob one, compared to the Hasbro. This is the Hasbro, this is the glue. The glue one is a bit thicker. The figure is a lot bigger. And it's not as well detailed. No, I prefer the detail on the, the helmet of the newer one. The 2015 one. So there it is. The rest of it. I can see this one is from 1994. It's one of the glue micro machines. And it's, got some extra, it's got some added paint detail at the back of it. But it's a lot thicker, whereas this one's a lot more thin, a bit more, a lot more thinner. But there is no detail at the back there, so make with these what you will. But I definitely prefer the look of the Scout Trooper helmet on the new one. And then last but not least, we have the Rebel Speeder Bike with Luke Skywalker there in his Endor camo, in his Endor gear, hanging on in pursuit. Or, you know, he, he is the one being chased after by the Scout Trooper. And you can see again, we've got the detail at the bottom there, looks good. The Galoop one is actually Princess Leia. I don't know if they did a Luke one, but as you can see, there's Princess Leia in her general gear. And again, we've got that bit painted on the back, but it is a lot more thicker than the Hasbro one. But there is a bit more added detail at the front here as well. And this piece seems to be all but disappeared. This piece in the middle, in the middle here, seems to have all but disappeared from this one. It's like this tiny bit there. But there you have it. That's them two compared. Different characters, but same scene, same film. So the sequence. There you have it. And you can chase them with the 
and the um, chaos speed of ice. That's not really what happens, it's more like this. That's what happens. But there you go. So, yeah, it looks great. Both good speeder bikes. This one's a darker brown colour to this one as well. This one's more like the Kenner toy. Kenner vehicle. Anyway, right, so that is it for the Endor Forest Battle. It's a great set. Great set from Return of the Jedi. Looks nicely with the old group and the speeder bikes. Let's get them in. Let's get them in closer. Let's get a closer look at these. There you go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, no, that's the old group on there. But anyway, so that is it for the end of Force Battles. A great set, definitely worth picking up if you can find it. I don't think this one's that hard to find. It's only three, it's only two speeder bikes and an ATSD, but it's a good free pack to start your Battle of Endor if you want to. So that's great traction. This has been great traction with the Stars Micro Machines Battle Endor Force Battle. It's a great set, definitely worth picking up. And the next time we'll be doing the five packs. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And Happy New Year.